Hi, for today's math lesson, we're going to talk a little bit about multiplication, and we are going to learn something called square products, and this is going to help you memorize some of your basic uh, multiplication math facts by looking at the idea of square products. So the first thing we need to do is learn a little bit of math vocabulary, and we're going to learn what we call the numbers in the multiplication uh, problem. So here we have 3 times 4 equals 12. These two numbers have a special name. They are called the factors. And when you multiply two factors together, what you get over here is called the product. So in this equation, 3 and 4 are the factors and 12 is the product. And these words would be the same no matter what numbers we plug in here. So if we changed it, and maybe we said 5 times 10 equals 50. Now the factors are 5 and 10, and the product is 50. So these are two words you should remember, factors and product for multiplication. Now, as I mentioned before, today we're going to learn about square products. And if you think square, you may think geometry, and you might not think of multiplication, but it's going to make sense once we take a look at it. So we're talking about square products. And a square product happens basically any time you multiply a number by itself. So 1 times 1 is your first square product. And 2, again, by itself, so 2 times 2 would give you a square product. And 3 times 3 is also a square product. And you might be wondering why we call this a square product. Well, let's make an array for these um, two facts. So 2 times 2 if we made an array, it would look like this. 2 times 2 is 4. And you can see the array is like a square. How about 3 times 3? And again, you can see the array would be a square shape here. So here's some more square products. 4 times 4, think of that one. Do you know 5 times 5? And here we have some more. Do you know these? Have you memorized your multiplication facts? Try to think of the answers of these. And eventually, hopefully, you'll know them all by memory. But in case you don't know, for now, here are the answers. And again, this would keep going. Anytime you multiply a number by itself, it would be a square product for the answer. Um, so even 174 times 174 um, you just keep going and it never stops to infinity. One more quick bonus lesson and before we get to the homework. Um, if you have a number, a square product like 3 times 3 equals 9, there's another way to write it. If you write the 3 and then a tiny 2 up there, that's the same thing. Okay, this is a little bit advanced, it's beyond third grade for this class, but um, you still know 3 with a little 2 means 3 squared, or 3 times 3. So another example, if you saw, how about, uh, 4 squared, the answer would be, 16. And again, that's just bonus information for right now, but you may see that um, sometime in math. Now, for your homework, this is part of Everyday Math Homelink 7.1. This is a very um, interesting homework. It's a little bit of a puzzle or a maze. 
and you need to pretend there is a monster in the middle of this maze here, this guy right here, called the Minotaur. And another word for a maze is a labyrinth. So we are going to go get this monster in the middle, and then we have to find our way out of the labyrinth, or find our way out of the maze. And you're going to do that only by going to numbers that are square products. So let's start together. So starting here, there's only two ways we can go. We can go to 7 or 64. Is one of those two a square product? 7, not quite. 64, yes. So we can go that direction. And the next choice, we have 24, down 25, or 36. 24, no, but 25 would work. And 36 would work too. We could go either direction. Let's go this way. And now I have 81, 49, or 1. And I know 9 times 9 is 81. 7 times 7 is 49, 1 times 1 is 1. Those are all square products, so I can go any direction that I want to. So why don't we go here. Next choice, 54 or 25. 54 is not a square product, but 25 is. 5 times 5 is 25. Now your choices are 16, 8, or 49. Which way can we go? Which is a square product? Let's look again. I think 8 will not work, but 16 would be okay. And also 49. Okay, so you can go either of those two directions. Here or here are both okay. And I'm going to let you finish the rest of this on your own and figure out how to get um, out of the labyrinth. Just remember to follow the square products, any of these numbers, or any of these numbers, to get out. If you have any questions, just post them, and good luck. Thank you.